X-rays and gamma rays used for imaging broken legs and tumours are of a sufficiently low energy that they don't damage the tissues that they pass through. With radiotherapy, it's quite different. X-rays, gamma rays and sometimes electrons of a much higher energy are used to destroy cancer cells and therefore destroy tumours. Alison Vinyl is a medical physicist who plans radiotherapy treatment for patients with cancer. Alison, how would you go about planning a treatment? Well, here on the screen we can see an outline of a patient who's got cancer of the prostate, and this would have been taken from the CT scanner. And so where's the, is the plane about here? That's correct, okay. yes. And here we can see the tumour volume, which has been drawn by the doctor around the prostate, and also an outline of the rectum, which is very close to the prostate, and the rectum is particularly sensitive to radiation, so we need to make sure in our planning that we keep the dose to that area as small as possible while still getting the dose to the tumour. So how do you make sure that the dose of the tumour is maximum and that everything around it gets a minimal dose? Well, in this particular patient, we've chosen to use a three-field technique. So we have one field of radiation coming in from the front and two fields of radiation, one from each side. And the radiation fields at the side have these wedges in the way which act to preferentially absorb the radiation. So that helps to give us a good homogeneous distribution of dose around the tumour volume while still keeping the dose to the rectum as low as possible. As Alison said, this picture comes from a CT scan of the patient and it shows a cross-section through him just below the waist. His back is facing downwards and the bright white areas you can see are the bone of his pelvis and spine. And as we shall see later, the wedges aren't really inside his body as the picture suggests. This is just a convenient way of showing them on the computer. OK, so what other kind of tumours do you treat? Well, we treat a number of patients with breast cancer. And here we have the shape of the outline of the patient taken through the breast somewhere about this sort of level. This patient presented with a lump which was removed surgically and then we're using radiotherapy to treat the whole of the breast area after the surgery. So why are you using radiotherapy when the tumour has been removed? Well there may be some cancerous cells that may have been left behind or there may be some that have spread to other areas of the breast so we want to treat the whole area to make sure that the cancer is completely eradicated. And how are you using radiotherapy in this case? Well, here we have two fields of radiation, one coming in from here and one from the other side. And again, both have wedges in the way, which are acting to compensate for some of the lack of tissue around the curve of the breast here. And again, we can see the orange line, the 95% isodose line, which is showing us that 95% of the dose is concentrated in the breast area and as little as possible further back here, which is where the lung would be, and the lung again is sensitive to radiation and we want to make sure that we keep the dose there to the minimum possible. Alison, thank you very much. We're now in the radiotherapy department which contains the machines which are used to treat patients with cancer. Now, this is one of the older machines but it's still useful for certain kinds of treatment. So let's go and have a look at it. Now this particular machine is often used to treat breast tumours of the kind that we saw earlier and it contains a piece of radioactive cobalt, that's cobalt 60, which fits into this head up here and it's surrounded by heavy lead shielding. Now, when the machine is turned on, a shutter moves to expose the source and the size of the field is controlled by a pair of diaphragms up here. Now sometimes, as we saw in the planning stage, a wedge is needed and this fits up here and it controls the shape of the beam. Now the patient lies up here on the couch and everything is adjusted to ensure that the gamma rays are directed towards the tumour area. Now, this light that you can see here actually mimics where the gamma rays will fall when the shutter is open. Of course, it's important to protect the operator too. And having set up the treatment, he leaves the room. And he watches through that viewing window over there that's made of lead glass. And just to be sure, this wall contains concrete that's nearly a metre thick. Cobalt-60 sources are widely used by radiotherapists but increasingly, they're using machines like this one, a linear accelerator. Now, linear accelerators have a big advantage, and that is that they produce X-rays of a much higher energy, and so therefore, they can be used to treat tumours that are deeper within the body. The X-rays are generated electrically, and they're under computer control. So this means that the edges of the radiation beam are much sharper. This can be very important when treating areas close to critical organs. The machines we've seen might look pretty frightening, but it's technology like this that is giving fresh hope to thousands of cancer sufferers whose tumours we're learning to destroy far more efficiently and effectively.